I've always liked these kinds of plants. They're just so good at doing what nature intended them to do, which is just to go everywhere and grow. These are the different types of seeds that you might see in a plant. The heavily seeded versus the fruit kind, fleshy pulp, I guess. And then some I'm sure you've seen that uh, have adapted so that they'll be thrown out, um, taken to all sorts of different places. Um, I'm not a plant expert, uh, not even close, but I just thought you guys might find that interesting. I remember some of this from biology. Uh, let's see if you can see it. I can't tell if the light's too intense or not. But uh, this guy right here is in a cell that doesn't have enough uh, water in it. So the inside has shrunk away from the walls, if I recall correctly. This one's pretty average. It's normal. And this one on the side has been filled pretty much to the brim. I remember there were uh, several types. I, I don't know if it was hypohydrolysis maybe or hyperhydrolysis, something like that. But um, occasionally cells could be so full that they would come close to bursting. It's a lot harder in plant cells though because they've got those uh, thick walls of cellulose. Cellulose? I can't remember which. Maybe next time I do one of these, I'll try and find a book that I know some things about. Even though this is an old book, I 
think that the uh, sounds that the pages make are quite nice. The pages are actually pretty firm. Uh, whoever had this book probably didn't leave it out or really mistreat it. Probably because it was expensive, like it was now, maybe I wonder. Because it's a uh, Ephra's horse at teal, horse tail? <laughs> Ephra's horse tail. Uh, Chicago Natural History Museum. I guess that's where it's being held. And Aularia. Aularia. It's really hard to read upside down, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know. You guys can tell me in the comments if you think it's better for me to put the book facing you. Turn the pages so that you can see everything or if you prefer it so that it's me looking and showing the ones that are interesting. Yes, I don't even know how this microphone works, so we'll have to see. I think I'm gonna try and get a new one. First, I wanted to see if I could put out a couple videos before the night's over. if any of you guys ever used this in your college or university. I don't think there was any name for it in the front from the place where I got it. Oh, I guess there was. Uh, Re Sumida. Re Sumida. Right here. I don't know who he was. But apparently he doesn't need this book anymore. I hope he's accomplished whatever it is that he's had to accomplish. 